Your Massachusetts real estate market update for November 14th, 2022. So what are we going to chat about in this video? As always, single family and condo numbers. What's going on last week? Big one here. Inventory went down. Little teaser. Interest rates. Talk about a big, huge, historic week for interest rates. We got to talk about that. Keeping track of distressed properties throughout Massachusetts. We're going to continue to take a look at those numbers. And then that luxury segment. Today, we're actually headed to a single family home in the back bay. But it's not just any single family home. It's the Air Mansion. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I am a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent that sold more than a thousand homes. And if you like hearing about the Massachusetts real estate market, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. So let's dig into those single family numbers. In the single family market, we had 5,304 units that are on the market. Now, inventory fell 107 units from last week. But when we compare this week last year, we actually have 1,472 more single family homes that are available to home buyers that are currently currently looking in the market today than compared to the same time last year. There were 775 newly listed properties that came on the market last week. Now the average for September and October was 1,046 units. And then to put it in perspective, we had 1,015 newly listed properties same week last year. So we are well below those averages. And I think that what you're seeing right there, this really explains that inventory, that uh, inventory drop that we saw in the whole entire market. We had 869 single family homes go under agreement. Now the four week rolling average is 1,000 units. So we are well below that average there. We had 548 homes sell last week for an average sale price of $719,000 and a median sales price of $555,000. Now that months of inventory, months of inventory being how we figure out what type of market we're in, zero to five months being a seller's market, five to seven months being an equal market, and then seven months or more being a buyer's market where we're seeing uh, quite a bit of depreciation there. Now, months of inventory actually ticked up a little bit to 1.49 months. This is compared to last week's 1.48 months. And we've really been seeing this one and a half month ban for the last four weeks, which really says in the single family market in the state of Massachusetts, it's a pretty stable market. Um, now, I know this inventory and these numbers are really showing that it's a strong seller's market. But I continue to say that these numbers are really inflated. I think the real picture of the market out there is a lot lower than this because um, there are some really great values out there if you're a buyer today. I mean, we're really seeing some buyers just beat up some sellers. We had we have one guy right now, you know, he, he put an offer in on a house. The seller only came down 5,000 bucks. He said, I'll see you later. And then he went and jumped to another uh, seller to make another offer. I mean, buyers out there, they're looking for deals. If sellers aren't willing to negotiate, then ultimately they're not not going to sell their house and it's just going to sit there longer and longer and longer on the market until they finally come to the new reality of our marketplace. But let's move on to the condo market. In the condo market, we had 2,763 condos on the market. Now, this is a 21 unit decrease from last week. And when we look at last year, where inventory was decreasing at a very rapid pace, buyers now today have 209 more condos to choose from than they did if they were looking to buy at the same time last year. So, great time to be a buyer in the condo market. We saw 361 newly listed condos come on the market this week. Now, the average for September and October was 485 units. So, this is about 25% below that average average number. We had 30, uh, 335 condos that went under agreement this week. Again, the average for September and October is 388 units. So we had 20 more units go under agreement this week, but we're still essentially 14% off from the last two week, uh, two month average that we'd been seeing. So yeah, our under agreements aren't there. I mean, they're they're definitely uh, trailing from not only last year, obviously that was the, like the best year on record, right? But they're really trailing uh, what we saw in both September and October. We had 196 condos sell last week. Now this was surprisingly low. Our four week rolling average has been 321 units. So this is essentially 39% below what we would expect there. I mean, this was a very surprisingly low number. Now, the average sale price for those condos was $613,000. Meanwhile, median sales price of $615,957. Now, months of inventory actually pulled, um, went up a little bit to 2.12 months from that 2.08 months last week. Now, as I've said over and over again, the, these, these, these months of inventory numbers, they aren't really true indicator of what our market currently is. It's a trailing indicator. If we were to just take the last two months, then we'd see about four and a half months worth of inventory, which is right on that line, right? 
that equal market line, which is why there's so many great values out there. Quick story, I have a current client, we were looking at a house, we went back to this condo in Boston twice, right? We, she, she liked it, but then afterwards she walked away and said, you know what, it's not 100% for me, just some of the finishes weren't done like I wanted to. So before we knew it, right, the next day, we actually had that developer, that owner, reaching out to us offering a $50,000 credit in regards to doing things how we would want them to be done, you know, whether it be a new kitchen or a new bath, new floors, things of that nature. I mean, it just really gives you an idea of what the condition of this marketplace is out there. I mean, sellers, they're hungry. I mean, they're very hungry. So if you're a buyer out there, this is just really important to know, like you, you get to beat them up a little bit and you can get some exceptional values out there. Do you like hearing about the Massachusetts real estate market, knowing what's going on? If so, then make sure you hit that like button and please consider subscribing. So on to the mortgage market. Like I said, on Thursday, interest rates tumbled by a half percent. Now, if you watched last week's video, then you know why. It's because of the consumer price index numbers. They came in on Thursday and they were far lower than what they had expected. This is great news for the inflation hawks out there, right? This is showing that, hey, maybe inflation is starting to slow down. So when those CPI numbers came out, well, then that put pressure on the 10-year treasury bond and it dropped. I mean, it cratered which is great news for mortgage rates. As I have continued to say, interest rates aren't tied to that Fed benchmark, right? They're tied to the 10-year treasury. Ultimately, this signal to the Fed that, hey, maybe they're gonna be able to slow down on future rate hikes, which is great news for the interest rate environment. Interest rates are now around six and a half to six and three quarter percent range. And home buyers just in the last week have gained more than 5% of buying power, especially when you factor in the producer price index numbers that came out this morning that's showing that those numbers, so it was 0.4%, they actually came in 0.2%. And so far what we've seen in the markets today is that the 10 year treasury is down, which is having a positive effect on interest rates. So if you're a buyer in the marketplace, this is all really exceptional news. This is exactly what we want to see. This is really great news for the home, home buying market. So let's talk foreclosures. Everybody wants to talk foreclosures. Everybody's looking for that exceptional deal. So that means they're looking at a foreclosure, right? Well, accounting for all single family condos and multifamily properties in the state of Massachusetts, looking at all distressed sales, we currently have 132 foreclosures for sale. And then we currently have 33 short sales on the market for sale in the entire state of Massachusetts. This means for the entire state, we have 165 distressed properties for sale. That's all that's available to home buyers. And this is actually six units less than we had last week. So ultimately when we take this 165 units and we divide it by our total inventory numbers, the distressed sales, the distressed units in the state of Massachusetts that are currently available to home buyers out there only accounts for 1.8% of the total marketplace. Now let's just jump into that Massachusetts luxury home. Uh, we were looking at the Air Mansion located at 395 Commonwealth Avenue. It is a 15,000 square foot single family home with three car garage. Now it needs to be completely remodeled and has an asking price of $14.995 million. But let's just talk about this place because it is a piece of history, right? I've actually included a New York Times article in the description below, which I think you might find pretty interesting. I know I did, but the New York Times, they said it was a national treasure as it was designed by Louis Comfort Tiffany when it, uh, and it's actually the only Tiffany designed house in the world. Now, I don't really know what that means. Um, what I could kind of tell was looking at the pictures. I thought it was kind of cool inside and I thought somebody could really make it an exceptional home. Now, I don't think that this house is everyone's cup of tea, but the conceptual design stays they look pretty awesome. And this one requires someone with a lot of vision and a lot of money. Um, it's a piece of history that's being offered, like I said, at just a hair shy of $15 million. Want to talk about your personal real estate needs? My information is in the description below, and I always love talking about real estate. Now, as a quick heads up, I don't work with everyone, and I do limit the amount of people that I do work with at one time. So whether you're looking to buy in the next nine or 90 days, I would love to chat with you now. And there's one thing that I can promise. If I can't help you, then I'm going to point you in that right direction. Questions or comments about any of this market data, then drop them in the comments section below. You take the time to watch this video, so I'm always going to take the time to 
to respond to those questions and comments. I truly appreciate you considering subscribing and keep in mind that an informed person is a powerful person. So until next week.